Hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about getter and setter method in javascript so in javascript we have the getter method so getter method used to retrieve value of one property and also we have this setter method so the setter method is used to set or change the value of a property so suppose we have one class person and inside the constructor it will take one name as a parameter and it will set the underscore name property to the name parameter so here we have one class person and also the class has this underscore name property now to set or get the value we can have some dedicated methods so we can have one method called get name to retrieve the name so we have to return the name and also we can have one dedicated set name method to set or change the name so it will take one name as a parameter and it will set the name of that person now we can create one object so we have to write new person and we have to pass the name of that person so we have created this object with the name sam now we can use that p1 object and we can call the get name or set name method to retrieve or change the name so we can write p1 dot get name and it will return the name of that person so if we just console log so you can see we have the name and also we can set the name so we have to write p1 dot set name and here we have to pass one name like john so here we have changed the name now if we call the get name method again so you can see the new name john so this way we can get or set any property of one class but also we have the new es6 syntax where we can use the get and set keyword so instead of writing get name we can use the get keyword and we can define this method so now this is one get method and similarly with the set method also we can use the dedicated set keyword and now this method is a setter method and this is one getter method now we have to call them so we can write p1 dot and we can use the name of that method and it will return the name similarly to set the name all we have to do is we have to call the method so we have to write p1 dot name and then we have to assign some new name like john and if we again get the name so you can see the new name is john so this way we can use the new es6 get and set keyword and we can create this setter and getter method and it will do the same job and this way also we can retrieve the value of a property and also we can set or change value of one property so we can use the getter and setter method and this way we can prevent any direct access to those properties so we can enforce some rule or validation before accessing the property of a class and also this getter and setter approach enhances code clarity and also it improves the security of our code so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one take care